folks are willing to do anything and to hurt anyone to get their way, like they're doing with Judge Kavanaugh. So that was just a few moments ago at the rally in Tennessee. And over the past couple of weeks, we've all heard a lot about this issue. We've talked a lot about it. And I have heard from many moms of sons who say that their fear is that if this Brett Kavanaugh nomination goes down, it could reflect badly on the process and due process and that that could be in jeopardy. And if that's where this is headed, what should parents say to their children? How should they teach them about all of this? It is a very hot topic because I've heard a lot on both sides on this. So we brought in a panel of moms raising young men and young women. Welcome to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, having us here. Um, so, you know, this idea that moms of sons uh, worry that perhaps if their son is innocent in the current environment, he may not have a chance at fairness. Does that ring true for any uh, any of you yes no. it does yes. <laughs> yes it does let's start here what, what, well us. it does i mean because we're looking at this right and i had my son to sit and watch uh, uh most of the kavanaugh yeah. hearing and as i said to him as parents, we're always trying to admonish our children to live exemplary lives. Well, here we have Judge Kavanaugh, who has lived an exemplary life. And up until three weeks ago, he was known as a judge's judge. And now Democrats are trying to convince us that he has lived an unblemished life, except for those two years he was running around town drugging and gang-raping women. And it just is foolish. And based on what? Uncorroborated evidence. Here is a woman who has made a charge against this particular judge, um, and, and she can't even really remember what happened two months ago when asked whether or not she gave her test her her therapy notes to Washington Post, she couldn't remember. Well, that was just two months ago, and it's not tied to the rape, and yet you still can't remember? But let's, you have a boy and a girl, and, yes. you know, talk to me a little bit about what you would say to them. About, what, like, you know, just imagine for a moment that your son is accused of something like this, and you feel that he's innocent. Well, I, I can speak as a mom, but I am also happen to be a criminal defense lawyer, and this is not a criminal trial. No. It's a nomination for a Supreme Court, the highest court in the nation, and there has to be a probing process. This is a judge where, where you know, a conservative um, majority is now at the Supreme Court, and this judge will have the opportunity to... But let me, as a mom, because I, how would you feel if you felt your son was falsely accused? Because you're very familiar with the criminal process. You know, you look at, look at for instance, the, the Duke case or UVA. There are times, and it's not the majority of times, mm -hmm. But there are times when this happens. Does that concern you as a mom of a, of a young boy? Well, well, first, as a mother, I would want there to be due process. I would want to make sure that there was a thorough investigation. Right. I would want to make exactly. sure that every yeah. witness was interviewed. That's not already. happening here. Right. So that's, that, not that's, not that's happening. all that I was saying in this Six tweet that got a lot of people fired up, and, is and, that and, wouldn't you want to know that he was being treated fairly? And this is but, not but, fair. But, but I'm process. a mother of a daughter, and so I... am I. No, and, absolutely. But no. We, we've watched this unfold. He has not been treated fairly, as you said. This guy didn't fall out of the sky. He's, ha he's risen to the top, investigation after investigation. We know who he is. His only crime is that he was nom nominated by our president, so and that's what it is. So completely above reproach, then why not go through another investigation. Because the goal of Democrats is not for the truth. If the truth is what Democrats was looking at, then I want to know where, where where are the Democrats on Keith Ellison dragging his girlfriend across right. the All right, let's take that. I want to hear from Danielle, and then I want to hear from Melissa, yeah. too. Danielle, go Absolutely. ahead. Absolutely. I think this is a great teachable moment for all of our children, right? For Absolutely. our boys to live a life that is above reproach. and to have this investigation and absolutely I mean then go through that investigation but also for the women for our daughters to know that we believe you and this may have happened to you and we want to investigate this and so that they can come forward they can feel safe coming forward yeah, right? that's, that's exactly the way I feel is right now my focus is on uh, Dr. Ford she came out speaking and uh, sharing her life she didn't have to do that, but something about this triggered her, her, what happened to her. She doesn't know ago. how she got okay. there. She, she doesn't know how she left. She doesn't even she know no where witnesses, it occurred. No but and then, all of a sudden, listen, listen, as a woman, yes, we deserve, deserve to be heard. As a mom, we deserve to be okay. believed. Go ahead, right. But as a mom who has, I, I've gone through something like this. You have two boys and two girls. Two boys and two girls, and I've gone through a similar past. There are things that just 
Your no, brain just not, suppresses not a, and it comes no. out later on in life. You know, I, and the way because I look at you it just want to go through life and then it comes out. Yeah. Right. So there's, and there's I completely two understand sides that. To this. And, this to, not... and to your situation, I completely understand that. And we want to, we, I believe women should be heard. Everyone should be heard. But I also believe that we are not to be believed simply because we're women. In this country, we Absolutely. are, so we are a land of laws. Why are we having this conversation? This, conversation? this is the same way the Democrats have done forever. Dealing from the bottom of the duck and the We've seen this before. It's the same. This, is, yeah. it is totally, this man is a constitutionalist. This, that's a check against him. And you, you mentioned that right away. Oh, this means that he's going to. We don't know. He's going through the process. As you said, Kathy, the judges judge. Everybody loved him until he was nominated by Donald Trump. And all of a sudden, anybody he's associated. A anybody so associated let, 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 let me just say, Trump, let me say one thing about, about the issue of justice, which is supposed to be blind. Right. So to me, that means you look at the evidence regardless of gender. I don't yeah. believe all women and I don't believe all men. Yeah. Amen. I, exactly. I want to look at what happened and ask to treat these two people fairly. Every one of these Absolutely. situations is different. Yes. It's not a big sweep where no. every all women are telling the truth. So all men we have exactly. Democrats who have come out and said, without even meeting um, Dr. Ford, that they believe her. Right. I gotta leave it there. We're gonna continue this conversation okay. after the break, but we'll see you tomorrow. Tucker Carlson.